So good morning, guys. We are discussing employee cloud operation by using Ajax. In previous session, we created a form and a table. So in this form, we are going to enter the data. Whatever the data we entered, the data should be stored into the database. After storing the data into database, I have to populate this table dynamically without refreshing, without reloading. So to store this employee information as a backend programming, I'm using PHP and MySQL to store the data into database. So now in this form, we are going to enter some data. Once the data is uh, submitted, the data should be sent to server by using Ajax. Now the form is entered with some data. Now I'm trying to submit the form. So when I'm submitting the form, the page is getting refreshed. So what is Ajax here? Without reloading or without refreshing, we have to send data to database. But what happened here? Now you can see if I click this save button, the page is reloading. Did you observe? Can you see this refresh icon when I'm clicking this? So now the page is refreshing. So we can't refresh the page. We have to stop. What is the see when we are submitting the form? There is a default action of the form. Nothing but page will be reloaded and it will be sent to uh, somewhere. So but here. Uh, in my program, I given my form action as empty. So even if you can submit, I can't go anywhere. I will be in the same page because action is empty now. So you are in the same page. Another thing is here, when I'm submitting the form, the form should not get refreshed. So this is default behavior of a form. So I have to stop the default action of the form when I click the save button. So let me start and how to uh, fire an event on the click, how to fire an event on the button and how to get the data, how to validate the data, how to send data to database behind the scenes by using Ajax. Yes, let's write an event here on the form. So I'm just writing an event called on submit equal to some event. This time I'm writing a function. This function will simply handles the validation and it will send the data to server behind the scenes. Let me write a function here, save data. This is a function I'm just writing. So, but when I when you are clicking the form, what is going to happen? It will look for the save data function. But if the save data function is available, okay, not available. So, and so we can see some error in the console. Can you see? But it will be gone immediately. Why? Because page is reloading, right? We have to stop it. So, how we can stop it? And all, let us see. Now, let me enter some data here. Oh, I, I don't want to enter. Just let me click on it. So, can you see some error is in the console? You are able to see, I think so. I'm clicking this, and when you are clicking this, you are getting some error on the console. Can you see some error in the console? It is coming and gone immediately. Why? Because page is refreshing. I mean, that the error is nothing, guys. It is looking for the save data function, but the save data function was not there. So let me create a function and let me handle this function. Okay. To write the whole Ajax JavaScript code, I want to write a separate file. In that file, let me write everything inside of it. So let me have a file here. Let me add the path of the file. Let me create the file ajax.js. So I need to create a folder JS in my working directory. So the file name is ajax.js. Let us create a new file here. File is ajax.js in the same folder. I'm creating ajax for js folder and save the file name as ajax.js. The file is done. Now, so the file is linked, and here also you have to save the file. Yes, file was linked. When you submit the button, it will look for this method. So let me write this method in my ajax file function save data. First, let me check whether this is uh, working or not. Just let me write an alert event here. Alert, hello. simply I'm writing the confirmation whether it is working or not. I mean, moreover, it is uh, your JavaScript is linked properly or not. Let me submit it. On submit, you are getting alert. But after closing alert, did you see the page is getting reloaded again? Right, after closing the alert, the page is getting reloaded again. I have to stop it. To do this, we can write a small uh, method, predefined method in JavaScript, event dot preventative is one of the methods. So we can just use this method to talk to 
to stop the default propagation of a form. Prevent. Default is the method. Yes. Now let me write alert here one more time. So earlier we written alert, but after closing the alert, form gets refreshed. Now I am writing this event dot prevent default. That event dot prevent default method will stop the default propagation of your form. What is the default behavior form? When you submit, it will it will get refreshed, right? So just I want to stop it, right? Let me reload the page and save it. Now I got high message. I am closing the alert. Can you see? And you observe the page didn't get refreshed, right? This is what we need. Yes, now let us try to get the data of uh, all the text boxes. Yes, right. Here we have ID, e name, mobile, salary, and one more is the ESG. Right. This is the ID of the all four boxes. And let me get the data, guys. Let's check this, guys. I got the data. Uh, and I kept them into some variables, right? So dot value, dot value, right? Document dot get element by ID dot ID, the name of the text box and dot value. What are the value if you entered into the text box? That value will be stored into the enum variable, right? So value is the property, right? So from this property, we can get the entered value by you. Now I'm able to get all the values which you entered, but now we have to send this to database by using Ajax. But before sending this data to database, let me validate it that by whatever the data you are entering in the form that is valid or not. Let me check it. So let me validate name as well as salary as well as designation and mobile. Mobile number should contain digits and digits only, and salary should be uh, salary also digits. And I want to make there are some range of salary, uh, four digits to six digits salary. I mean four digits means nine 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 nine, and six digits means I think so up to lakh some lakhs of salary so this is how i want to validate and e name so employee name i want to validate at least at least it should be four characters in length right so like this let me validate it i'm i'm just going to do a plain validation so once this is okay then we can send this data to database by using ajax let me validate e name if e name dot trim so I'm just trimming if there are any empty spaces that is going to be trimmed is not equal to empty. I mean, if the next box is not equal to empty, we can do something. I mean, we can send the value else. What I want to do, I just want to make a alert here. Alert. Enter employee name. After that, I have to stop the script execution. When you got an alert, written false is nothing but if by using written false statement, we can stop the script execution. So here you entered the name, this valid one, but the length of the name, I want to check it. Let me check the length here. If e name dot length, L-E-N-G-T-H, length is a uh, predefined property of a string, right? So length is uh, less than or equal to three, something like I'm writing a condition less than or equal to three. String length will start with a zero now. And moreover, less than or equal to three. Here, if it is less than three, let me write an alert here. So, employee name should contains at least four cats, something like. What are the uh, message you want to take? Yes, you can take the message. Let us have the same. Now, can you see if I refresh? So let me check it whether it is working or not. Unclick the button. Just unclicking the save button. Enter employee name. I didn't enter employee name. So let me enter a name with only three characters. Let me submit it. So we're getting alert. So let me have one more character here. And now you can check it. So you're not getting alert. I mean, I think so. Everything is okay in the same manner. Validate mobile, validate salary, validate designation as well. Right. So let's go for this is the validation of email. Or else we can create them into a separate functions also. What are the logic we written here? Yes, we can create a separate function for this. Yes, that's also we can do. Right. Anyhow, so this is the name validation. Right. Next one is here. I want to validate the what is it as per the order? Mobile. Let me validate mobile. Let me take a regular expression to validate this mobile.
what is trim here? Trim will remove the empty spaces from left hand side and right hand side of your string. Mobile is not empty. Okay, if mobile is empty, just let me write an alert here by saying that simply enter mobile. Okay, now, okay, if we didn't enter mobile number, we're getting this alert here. You entered mobile number, then I need to validate that mobile number is, uh, so. yes, guys, I need to validate the mobile number that contain 10 digits or not. And moreover, all the things we are entering in the text box and it should be in digits. It should not any character. Sometimes people may enter five characters and five number length is 10. So we can't allow like this. So let me let me take a regular expression here. This is a regular expression just I have me. So I want to validate this mobile is matched with this pattern. So there is a, a method called match in regular expression. So let me verify it. If mobile dot match the pattern. What is the pattern here? We have MOB PAT mobile pattern. If this is matched, the condition will be true. So if it is matched, we don't have any problem. So now, if it is not matched, let me write a condition here. If it is not matched, now I want to write an alert by saying that please enter a 10 digit mobile number. And immediately, let me make it as a written false. Yes. Mobile number validation done. In the same manner, I want to validate the salary as well. So let us copy the same. So this is also the same, right? That is also digits and this is also digits. And let me write this as a salary validation. Copy paste. So what is a variable we have for salary here? SAL is, oh, here we have M-O-P-I-L-E. Let me change the variable as mobile, right? So this is SAL salary. So let us change. Here, salary dot trim not equal to empty. Okay, let us make the pattern as SAL pattern, salary pattern. But salary pattern, I want to make this as a four comma six. I mean the range, and it should be number. Here, regular expression will always start with slash cap and dollar end. This is going to end with the dollar slash. And here, slash D refers only digits, and this curly bracket will tell you the range. So it is going to be four to six. But do you see here this is not range exactly the length of the digit should be 10 right here we are giving 4 to 6 it may be 4 or 5 or 6 that is the meaning of it 4 comma 6 means right now this is done and let me sal dot match dot sal pattern right salary pattern if this is matched so then let me change the label please enter uh, a valid salary let me end, let me write like this. Please enter a valid salary in digits. And after that, written false. And if you didn't enter, enter salary. Simply, I'm writing a message: enter salary. That's it, guys. So now we have to do the designation. Just I'm checking this uh, whether it is empty or not. D S Z is not equal to empty. Is not equal to empty, no problem. So I think so if it is equal to equal to empty, yes, we can do like this also. If it is empty, write an alert by saying that please and please select this. This is not entering, this is selecting. So select designation immediately make it written false. Yes, guys. So let us check whether our validation is working or not. Right, so I'm submitting. So you submitted enter employee name. Let me enter the name of the employee. Yes, let me, I'm not entering anything here. Let me submit it. Enter mobile number, that's okay. Let me enter the mobile number one, two, three, four, five, Q, W, E, R, T, something like that. Totally 10. Let me submit it. So please enter a indigit mobile number. So let me enter a mobile number. So six, seven, eight, nine, zero, and let me submit it. Now enter salary. 
let me enter salary one two three so we have some uh, range here right four to six the salary please enter a salary in digits but okay one two three is also okay but i have mentioned so four to six so uh, i think so we have to mention a valid uh, message there in that alert let me take one two three four and one two three five or something like so now enter now it is select designation now you can enter a salary like this also i'm entering the salary triple nine so five nines i entered let me check it so now you can see this is that is working let me enter more than this let me enter seven digits here now let me check it so now salary in digits something like so but i written simply salary in digits but we have to write a valid message salary range may be four uh i mean thousand to uh, some biggest number we can write we can take it right so anyhow let me take this as a 1500 15000 and let us go for designation and this is done let me save it as your form there is nothing and your form is going to be now your form is ready to submit it to database we validated we validated the form successfully now the next thing is here we have to send the data to database by using ajax yes guys we can see this in next session thank you guys if you have any doubts please comment under the video section